This is a poem uh, I wrote a few years ago at the Belladrum Festival up here in the Highlands. And uh, I'm doing it again now just to cheer people up, really, who may, be, may have been looking forward to going to a festival this year and probably won't be able to. However, console yourselves with the fact that you won't have to use the dodgy facilities in the festivals, the portaloos. So this is called Festival Flatulence or Peace at Last at Belladrum. Two hours after midnight, airbed deflated, this camping malarkey's a touch overrated, and festival goers all like to drink beer. There's a group of them singing quite loudly and near. They've sung the proclaimers, I'm gonna be the 500 mile one, and then let it be, and flower of Scotland, and now Belfast City, and none of it's tuneful, more is the pity. I don't think there's one of them sings with a choir, and this seems to be their entire repertoire. Then one final time they sing Let It Be. How we all wish they would, as it's just after three. And campers all over have now had enough, some shouting loudly, please shut the fuck up. Steady now, chap. Just take it easy, mate, for festivals tend to attract the inebriate. But at last it dies down to murmurs and mumbles, a little light snoring in a field full of slumbers. And then, after all, there is peace at last, not a whiffle of wind nor the rustle of grass, just the absolute silence of the still before dawn. I had started to think hope of sleep was forlorn. And then, in the stillness, the quietness, the darkness, the silence was shattered as somebody farted, a loud one, a proud one, a one for the crowd one, patently audible, somewhat applaudable, and farting is free, so it's always affordable. Yes, your bum can go boom in the midst of a slump, for nobody sends you a bill when you trump. And also it's fun, some folk do it for leisure, drunk blokes ignite them for moments to treasure. But this one was moist, you could tell by the sound, and they're bad enough when there's no one around. Sorry, he said in a tone of contrition. He was sharing a tent, I could see his position. You'd have to apologise in such a tight space. You can't blame the dog or your old auntie Grace like you could do at home if the setting allowed. At home on your own you can fart right out loud, whether they're dry ones or whether they're wets. You can blame them on children and innocent pets. Then after the sorry, another slight pause. Perchance he was waiting for laughs or applause. He confirmed that it had been a little bit wet. Well, flatulence can be a game of roulette. When stuck in a tent in a field at a festival, it's best to remember that dry ones are best of all, for nobody favours the old follow-through, lest comfortably seated upon their own loo. Yes, farting when camping's a bit of a lottery in the absence of Armitage Shanks and his pottery. So always take wet wipes in case they get skittery. This poem's disgusting, not very literary. Thank you very much. That's uh, from my my book, Mad as a Box of Frogs, which is available from my website, uh, www.malbert.com.